Hi, I'm Shelley Hansen. I live in Portland, Oregon and have been in private practice as a master's level clinician since 2004. I work with individuals, families, and mostly couples. Marriage and family therapy is a second career for me, essentially after working in various other jobs, from being a ticket agent for a major airline, to working in a middle school, as well as working as a liaison for a local county, doing in-home risk and strengths assessments for identified struggling families within the community. I chose to become a marriage and family therapist due to just how much systems thinking resonated with my own worldview. I attended George Fox University in Portland where I was enriched by a tremendous team of faculty that was steeped in MFT training, theory, expertise, and a love for passing it along to eager students such as myself. At this time, I've been in private practice for just over eight and a half years. I first joined a team of established practitioners, and now I have four wonderful practitioners who have joined me at the site, and we work collaboratively together. I love this work, the amazing folks I have the privilege to sit with, and the teams I'm so privileged to work alongside of, both in my practice and within this organization. In addition to clinical work, I serve as an adjunct faculty member at George Fox University in their Graduate Counseling and Marriage and Family Therapy Department. I am an AAMFT approved supervisor and have worked with student interns as well as graduates. I truly believe in the mentoring model that AAMFT has in place for training in one another. It has served me so well with my own AAMFT approved supervisors and mentors. In 2004, I joined the Oregon Association for Marriage and Family Therapy as a board member. In 2008, I became president-elect and then served as president, then past president for the state division. During my time of serving on the board, I was privileged to see legislation pass via a practice act that brought third-party payment for MFTs within our state. I cannot, however, take credit for this, as this was so many years of dedicated effort by so many others that went before me. It's more like I stepped into line at the right time to carry the torch over the finish line. It was thrilling to be a part of, to witness this, and to celebrate with other wonderful clinicians and advocates that had gone before me. Serving in leadership on the state board put me in some unique places wherein I was able to see while we MFTs sometimes have to tackle some pretty hard decisions, can feel passionate about our current opinions, and can sometimes not even agree, we are a group that is willing to consider tough questions about ourselves. While this can be very challenging for us, I believe it is also our strength. After all, it is the very thing we ask couples, individuals, and families to do. When I was asked to consider serving on the National Board, I had to really ponder a number of specific questions within myself, such as, could I contribute anything to this membership that might help move it forward in positive ways? What kind of MFT association would I like to be a part of 10 years from now? What would I want for future MFTs? It is from these considerations that I decided to be a part of leadership as it is my hope that we MFTs stand on the threshold of a renaissance of our profession. As the new DSM-5 brings potentially significant focus into client systems, we have an opportunity as MFTs to be inclusive, inspiring, and equipping throughout the mental health field and within communities throughout our nation and even the world. You know, we, all of us MFTs, are able to do this amazing work due to the dedicated clinicians and researchers that went before us. Because we have a guild that it has helped form an MFT identity for us legislatively and bring us collectively together, I hope we will all now give back by carrying the torch forward even a few steps.